might have gone shopping and I might have bought a few things. And it all started because of this ball of crochet thread and I needed some more. Let me show you what happened next. So this is what started it all. Well, actually what started it all is it's my birthday month and I tend to go shopping and stocking up on some art supplies, whether I need them or not on my birthday month. It's just one of those things that happens. But I needed to get some more of this crochet thread, which I'm using on my forest piece and I'm doing a lot of seed stitches and I don't know that there's enough. So but the first thing I did was buy some more because I love this color and it's really strange because it's called bronze, not green, but it's a wonderful, beautiful kind of an army green and the army green is like fluorescent green I don't know go figure then I started thinking about things that I might use to embellish some textile pieces I don't know that I'll use any in the forest but some of the other pieces I'm working on and I realized I didn't have some beads in certain colors so I got some beads and these are really cool they're beads, but they're little tiny discs, and I can picture them kind of gathered up in some cheesecloth. And these are oyster shells that have been cut, I guess. And so they've got some really great little colors in there. I think those would be really cool. I wanted some rings. These are some coconut rings, some coconut beads, some more coconut rings. And these I just thought were really interesting, terracotta. Beads. So I think these will be really fun to do some um, embellishing with on various projects. I did buy some more of the textile paint because I really love the way the colors all work together, the very earth tones, it was perfect in the forest, so I did buy some more of this. These were something I had in my cart on Etsy for a long time, and again, I was just thinking about embellishments, and they just looked kind of cool. bits of wire that I could add with sticks and things. Well, fibers, right? I cannot resist. And I was really enjoying using some of these on a project. So these were from the Tin Thimble on Etsy. And these are my earthy colors. And this tube stuff is really cool. You can, uh, some of it, like the blue, I picture this on an ocean piece. I guess they use all this stuff in um, wet felting, but since I don't felt, there we go. I have other uses for it. So I got that in a variety of colors. And then this is just some silk waste uh, in colors that I know that I will use. And speaking of fibers, I went looking for something like this fuzzy eyelash trim in earthy colors. And this is absolutely perfect to cut little bits of that and put it you know, in your forest scenes or your garden scenes. It really looks kind of plant-like. It can look like um, hanging moss. So I did find it in some, some browns. I just, I love this. And then of course, I'm still thinking ocean. I really want to do an ocean piece. So I did get some oceany colors. This was another kind of tubular something that I thought kind of looked like a mermaid's net because it had the little sequins and stuff on it. So I got that in a couple of colors. I don't know that this will work with what I was thinking, but I was thinking it could be uh, some rocks in the forest. Or I guess if you're doing a larger landscape piece, it could be some hills. So fibers, of course, fibers. I'm not done with fibers. Nope, here's more. I had some of these in one shade of green and I love them so much. These uh, come from Cupid Falls Farm. I'll put the links to all these places down in the description. But these are called slubs. And let me show you. They have all these great colors. I mean, look at this. These are, these are the earthy colors. I did not get any for the ocean, but um, that could happen down in the future. And you get a lot of these. And they use these again in wet felting to add some texture. But they're just little tiny slubs of wool. So it's already been felted and these are like the pieces that, that fall off. And you can stitch them onto things. I mean, you can gather these together and they make little plants as you stitch them onto your piece. And I'll have to show you how I'm using them on the forest piece. But I just went ahead, it's like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the colors that I know I'll use over time. These are gonna last me a long time. 
I got some cotton warp thread, uh, not because I'm going to warp my looms. I'm discovering that weaving is just not something that appeals to me. Um, it's harder to do just like sitting on my lap. And it's just, it's not as much fun for me as stitching. But I can stitch with this. It's all cotton. But I can also use this for wrapping around sticks and drop cloth books, any of that kind of stuff. So I got those in my earthy colors. So I would have them. They're huge and they will last me again a long time. Next, I went over to Conserving Threads on Etsy and I ordered some hemp fibers and this is just the raw hemp fiber. You can spin it if you're a spinner. I'm not. It just looks like tree roots and branches and very earthy. I have painted it before and I have some ideas for a big project. So I figured since I have to pay the shipping on this one, it's not one of those shops that has free shipping, which is totally fine. Um, I might as well just do a big order at once. From the same shop, I got some nettle fiber, and it's just a completely different texture. Again, you can spin with that if you're a spinner. Maybe one of these days I will try to do some art yarn, but I just wanted to do some other stuff with these fibers, so I grabbed those. And while I was looking for fibers that might be good for trees, I thought, let's try this out. This is coconut bark. And I don't think it will be quite as easy to use as the mulberry bark, but I think it could be very interesting. And even if I just end up using it in pieces. So that is coconut bark. And then because I just love doing my trees in the forest, I went back to mulberry papers and more and bought some more raw mulberry fiber. They don't have any more of the brown in stock right now. It comes from Thailand and I'm in the US, so I don't know when they're gonna get some more. So I went ahead and got some of the natural and I can dye it. And then I got some more mulberry bark like this. So I had a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I spent some money, but like I said, it's my birthday month, uh, and if you would like to do something for me on my birthday, you could go over to my website and sign up for my newsletter, because if you're not already a subscriber, you will miss finding out when I open the classroom, when I put anything new in the shop, when I have anything kind of special, and I do not send out a newsletter every week. I only send one out once a month, or maybe even less. So what about you? Have you gone shopping lately? Found anything good? Found any good bargains? I want to know. Go make art your way. Just because it makes you happy to make art. That's the only reason you need to do it. If you're not having a good time, why are you doing it?